Hello and welcome to the second episode of Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse. Um, I left off the last episode having created my uh, basic project setup and sh uh, showed you uh, how you can add dependencies. But uh, I, I left one issue open which is uh, the warning we have down here. Um, which, which is actually because by default the Maven project uh, tries to use a, a Java 1.5 uh, environment, but on my machine there's no Java 1.5 installed anymore, uh, so it complains that there is no matching uh, Java library on my machine. So uh, in this episode I'm going to explain how to uh, change the Java version in a Maven project. So. As I said before, all configuration in Maven projects is done in the uh, POM XML file. So this is where I'm going to go. Unfortunately, for this kind of configurations, there's no uh, UI support. So we have to go to the XML file. But fortunately, for most of the standard configuration, we can look uh, at how it's done in the effective POM because this displays what's uh, actually being used right now for Maven project. So and there's a lot of stuff in here, but the interesting thing is uh, what is going on in the build section. Because everything that's going on in the build section somehow influences how our project is going to be built. And this is of course uh, what wraps the, the compilation phase where this uh, Java version is of interest. So um, the important thing to know here is that all the, the basic steps included in Maven are part of Maven plugins. So there's only a very small Maven core and everything else is implemented as plugins. So the compiler that Maven uses is actually configured uh, or wrapped in a plugin too. So what we're looking for is the plugin subsection and in the plugin subsection there's all the configuration uh, done. So for example here's the clean plugin that is used when you clean all the uh, compiled resources, there's an install plugin, there's a resources plugin, there's a surefire plugin for the JUnit tests and there is the Maven compiler plugin which is what we're looking for. There's some configuration uh, that it compiles in the test phase your test your test code and in the default compile phase your uh, application code and we don't want to change this we only want to add a configuration about your java environment so i'm just going to copy um, this artifact id and the version we reference here and then i'm going to the pom and i'm actually going to insert my additional configuration here so as i said this is going to go to the build section and it's going to go to the plugin section. There's neat code completion for these uh, POM XML files, which is really nice. And then I've just paste what I got here, complete it, and now I'm ready to actually configure the compiler plugin. Okay, and uh, for the configuration, there's a tag called configuration. And in our case, since we want to change uh, the, the JRE, there are the two configuration options, source and target. And since on my machine there's only a Java 7 right now, I'm going to set both source and target to 1.7. I'm going to save that. And what you see right now is that neither the warning disappeared nor did it solve our problems. In fact, we even got another project which says the project configuration is not up to date with POM XML. Run Maven update project or use quick fix. Um, I could use a quick fix right now, but since it's uh, usable and helpful in a couple more of more situations, I'm going to show, to show you how to, you can reach this without quick fix, which is going on the project, not the POM XML, on the project with a right click go to Maven and then go to update projects. Then you get, get a wizard where you can select the projects you want to update and then you can actually just click OK and it will reload the Maven configuration. 
And as you can see, both uh, the arrow and the warning are gone now. And my project actually switched to a Java 1.7 library. Uh, so everything's fine and set up for uh, implementing Java code with Java 7. That was it for this episode. Uh, I hope this helps some of you. No matter, no matter what, if you have uh, additional questions, problems, ideas, critics about this uh, screen test, just let me know, drop me a comment. And of course, remember to subscribe to my channel to get updates for more episodes to come. Okay, and I hope to see you in one of those next episodes. Goodbye!